Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today I have some very exciting news for you guys. A new promo for Schooled just came out, and this is amazing because new episodes just came out, and I've made two analyses on those, so if you are interested, then you can go check them out. But pretty much, this new promo is about Schooled, and as you would expect, if you have read the synopsis for it, it is Ponyhead goes back to St. Nose to find that the curriculum got tougher. So now we can see this in action. So I'm gonna play the promo for you guys to see it and then I will analyze it. I'm back! On an old new star, with the force of evil. I need to brunch and then I need to party. Pronto. You're gonna have to take the exam. I gotta take a waffle test! What are the four pillars of brunch? Waffles. Eh, uh, eggs, obviously. Uh-huh. B -b 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 bacon Yeah? Hold on, I, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, uh, uh. Will Pony pass the test? Find out on an all-new Star vs. the Forces of Evil next Saturday at 11 on Disney XD! So now that you've seen the promo, we can now analyze it. First here we could see Ponyhead bursting out of a carriage, appearing to go back to St. O's. Now the reason she's going back to St. O's is probably just to party and hang out because as we know before, like St. O's was just a pretty chill place to go out and party and there wasn't much curriculum at all. But from the synopsis, it got tougher so we're about to see that in action. And then the title cuts to on an all new star versus the forces of evil. And the, or I mean that's what it says but it, like a new title cut. Now pretty much the voice of this is saying in like a, an excited like kind of like party-ish accent, which I mean makes sense, P Ponyhead's going there to party. And then we cut to Ponyhead saying, I need some brunch, I think that's what it's saying, as well as in the background we can see some of the other princesses just on the floor, or I mean not on the floor, they're standing on the floor, obviously, and there's a disco ball, and I'm assuming that that's a party, and this is what Ponyhead is envisioning, I believe. I'm, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Ponyhead is envisioning this, because you're about to find out what happens in a minute. And then it cuts to Ponyhead wearing an afro, getting like makeup done, and then it cuts to a DJ set with Ponyhead dancing in the background. And then she's like, the full sentence that she says is, I need some brunch, then I need to party pronto. And then it cuts to Ponyhead sitting next to what appears to be the new head, which was one of the princesses that we have seen before, but she appears to have gotten more mature or something. I'm not exactly too sure why the curriculum got tougher, but we'll have to find out. But that person is saying that you're going to have to take an exam. And in the background, we can see one of the old bodyguards, but wearing like makeup and the new heart dress apron thing. I <laughs> I don't know, it's weird, so, and there's a couple books, and I believe the very most top one says Foodology, the purple one that's kind of diagonal, we can, we'll see it in, again in another frame, but that says Gossip, and then the very bottom one says Bacon 101, and there's also a teacup on the table as well as eggs, and maybe that's hash browns, I'm not sure. Then it cuts to the point of saying, I have to take a waffle test. And pretty much she's just like in outrage and in disbelief, being like, what? I have to take a test? I came here to party. <laughs> so, and then we can see the shot of the, of the gossip and the bacon 101, so we can tell that what those books are. And then the head of St. O's now, I'm calling her the head, I have no idea if she is or not, but she's saying, what are the four pillars of brunch? Then Ponyhead says waffles, eggs, bacon, and then Ponyhead can't figure out what the last one is, or so it seems, and then it cuts off and it's like, the the voice person is like, Will Ponyhead pass the test? Find out on an all new Star vs. the Forces of Evil next Saturday at 11 on Disney XD. And pretty much it's like, oh alright. And pretty much this episode, the vibe I'm getting is more of just a, like, non-plot more of just a filler episode hopefully if you guys saw my video that i did like yesterday it was on the new synopsis for bammy patty and tough love and pretty much i'm believing that meteora is going to be doing something as a contrary to this episode just because this episode is going to be extremely boring i think if it's just going to be this then it's going to be boring so i'm thinking that there will be something like this maybe meteora comes and crashes the party or something i'm not sure 
but we will have to find out. In the background of a couple clips, we can see like a painting with pizza and like mold and I don't know, some lady. I'm not exactly too sure who that is. Maybe it was a previous owner. Maybe that was Festivia's mother or Meteora's like adopt mother something. I don't know. It could be just an idea that I had. And then one thing that I wanted to notice, when the voice comes up and is like, Will Ponyhood pass the test? Find out on the new star. And then we see an old picture of a wand. And it's like, it's the season one wand. And it's like, what is this doing here? And it's in like a very Flash types looking style. So I have no idea what this old wand is doing here. Maybe they just had a like a preset library of photos and they were like, oh, hey, this one works. But honestly, I seriously have no idea what is, this is doing here. This could totally be a hint to something, or maybe it's not. It, maybe it was just picked randomly from a library, but it is something to notice. And then there's some bats that fly out, and you know what those remind me of? <laughs> no, 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 not the Illuminati. Gravity Falls, it reminds me of those eyes that went and froze people to stone. Now I know that they are not exact, and in the Gravity Falls it was literally just an eyeball with wings, and this is like a bat with one eye. That's just something that it reminded me of, and I don't know, it, it probably has no connection, but it was just something that looked familiar in my eyes. And then in the background as well, as well as bats, we can see like warnicorns, and then like the little centipede bull things that are flying around just probably from another preset library and that's pretty much the entire promo because this was not a plot filled episode there wasn't much background things to take in there wasn't much to talk about because if it's just a filler then there could be a number of things that happens so we really have no idea what can happen she takes the test and honestly, like, I don't expect this to take that long of an episode, so hopefully we'll see something interesting as well as this in this one episode. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I'm super excited that we're getting more news already right after an episode just released, or two episodes, actually. It's super amazing, and I cannot wait for next week's episodes, which is actually this episode, so yeah. <laughs> The episode that I'm most hyped for is Tough Love, and I cannot wait for that episode. If you haven't seen the synopsis for that, I would recommend going to watch it because it's freaking amazing. I I made a video on it, so if you are interested in it, then you can go. It, it should be just yesterday's video, so it shouldn't be too far behind this one. So you can go check that out, but that's going to wrap it up for today, and I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye. I live in a car.